Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations. And for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads, watch us every week on Kazakh TV. An ornament is a silent picture, but if it starts to speak, every ornament can share a mystery to a century. An ornamental pattern is a picture drawn without any brush, and a painting could be called an unornamented picture. The Kazakh ornament can tell about many thoughts and has got a broad horizon. In the days of old, the Kazakh girls and women drew pictures on a keys and embroidery. They did not have anything value but horn red and green ornaments on a tekemet. This is one more reason the Kazakhs keep yellow party-colored sirmak and black party-colored tekemet as relics. First, I keep it because this was made by my mother. Second, this is not just a common sirmak but this belongs to the whole tradition and culture preserved so far. This is our view on art. The inner life and love for our nation is expressed in such tiny things. That is why I keep it close. Kazakh art was drawn for the first time on a siramak and a tekemet, or on wooden handicraft. Growing up and seeing such a vivid picture, a Kazakh child could not become anyone but an artist. Orobek Kaboke grew up rolling on a yellow party-colored sirmak too. He is a boy who used to frisk on a black party-colored tekemet like a foal. His every work of art has got an element of an ornamental pattern, a sirmak and a tekemet. This is a particular style of this young artist. Rough-coated corpes and sirmaks hung. I can see well the vertical perspective in my artistic view. I look from above at existence on the earth. In my opinion, we live on the same earth. We look at everything from below or from the side. A thought, if there is anyone looking from above at us, sometimes comes to my mind. There is a creator who formed this earth and who looks at us from above. We live on this earth. What good deeds have we got? What mutual respect have we got? What tradition have we got? What set rules have we got? One more peculiar feature of Orobek's pictures is in their perspective. Before drawing a shape, he looks at it from below and from the side. It even seems that he draws it looking from above the sky. Light colors prevail in his work. Even the air is bluish. The water is clear like a mirror. His grasslands grow abundantly in green-red colors. I contemplate over compositional placement, equality of heavy and light, big and small things. But when I need to choose a theme, I follow these three things in art. While choosing a theme, I think of three aspects, like what sight, color, and placement I should use to deliver it to people. Sometimes before choosing a theme, if these three aspects converge, I think it over in order to reveal the theme with another theme, to demonstrate and solve it by means of the language of art, the language of beauty, and the language of creation. I expect such work to be a success. He can draw it looking from below. He can draw looking from above the sky as well. No matter what perspective he uses, his works are expressive and weighty. He feels that. 
Even now, you can see that his picture is winning in any perspective. It feels well. His pictures can tell about good ideas. Juma Kin is Orobek's teacher. He is like a brother to him when sharing creative ideas. He's a good-natured person who wants a student to pass ahead of an experienced teacher. Every teacher dreams of bringing up a good artist. He is his favorer and critic too. One of Orobek's features is his determination. He works hard. He creates such a picture. In one picture, he expresses a lot of things, so every part of it has got its life. If you look at this side, there is another life. Uniting all of them, he brings them to one theme. A picture is a reflection of life on a square piece of cloth. Art is a copy of life. The picture is inanimate, but it can speak. The language of painting art is in colors and theme. Orobek's pictures make a person contemplate. Even his portraits contain ideas about life. He searches for a portrait in nature itself. His mountains look like an old man with a gray beard. A lake looks like a girl's hair with coin embellishments. I am inclined to think that all colors and formulas and plastic peculiarities of the whole essence could be found in one person's body. At art lessons, we learn to draw a human being's body a lot. Why do we draw that much? We do that because the human being's body contains balance, abundance of colors, and beauty of the whole nature. He looks for life in nature and nature at home. He has got a work called Oyu. This is an ornament used for sirmak and keys. The artist searched for that ornament in the face of nature. The green step is like a colorful tekamet. A meandering lake looks like an ornament of sirmak ram's horn. The other picture of him, Bir Arna, can be called a part of ornamental pattern too. So, what you doing, My picture, Oyu, is an ornament used on the Kazakh Sirmak, created using combinations of dark and light, cold and warm colors. It is like the earth and the sky. We, the Kazakhs, call the earth black. The clear sky is called a light blue. So there was contrast between earth and sky in the horizon dividing them. I showed the forms of the blue sky looking from above through the water. I showed the water's roughness using the ornament. All this was created through my creative search. A man on a horseback is coming out of a spread yellow parti-colored sirmak. This picture is called Oralu. Everyone gets his own ideas from this work. This is like the Kazakh culture returning to its traditions and customs. You call this man coming back home from his travel. Arlbeck's pictures on the owl theme are true to life. The garden of a small owl on the mountainside rolls in green and yellow colors. I have got a work called Ua. Although the theme is called Ua, the nest, and there are two small swallows on a tree in the shadow. The big existence of the whole picture is life going on in one yard. I tried to show the whole existence that was prior to a grandfather and grandson, a man and a woman, a grandfather and grandmother, and a little girl in that yard, because our culture is in that place, that is to say, in that family, in that nest. There are customs and traditions and turbulent life in that place. He does not draw a picture by chance. He gives a special deep meaning to his work. His creative works about stone images, baobals, were originated from the big idea. A baobal is a picture art of nomads. The baobal is the Kazakh history. He seems to preserve this heritage by mean of painting art. He called these works tinshtik, 
Kuzet. There was a large lake. Balbal stones are buried in its depth of six meters. They are seen in the surface at one and one half to two meters. When we were little, we used to go to the lake and play around those balbals. It was at the edge of the Aul. Despite being just simple stones in a remote place, these balbals pass through many historical events and many centuries and share secrets of that time. We used to feel like we lived in that age. After many years, I went to see those balbals in my Aul and found out that they had been pulled out and thrown away. The master of painting art goes on nature and draws a sketch. This is his habitual work. The Alatau mountainside is a rare treasure to him. The artist gets inspired while being close to nature. It justifies his creative activity. Nature itself is a master. This nature teaches us. It teaches us to notice light and darkness, combination of colors, color of the sun and a place, the smell of the place. In other words, I learn peculiarities of things. There's a special time to drawing sketches and plein air work. An artist chooses himself either a dawn or an evening time. Choosing any time, the artist feels that moment with his heart and shows it in the picture. The artist does not draw. He weaves a picture that he has seen in his imagination, and then he depicts it on the canvas surface. He transfers a vivid painting on the paper. Today, the sky is so clear. Alatau is covered with gauze. Its brown range is in loose snow. The white snow, like a milk skin, shines from far away. The hilly foot curls up, and the autumn yellow wormwood is seen. Painting is an art where forms and colors are placed on a square surface. This is an explanation of painting art. And if we ask a question where this comes from, the answer is from everywhere. I will tell you about my own understanding of going on a plain air, namely, draw a sketch. Let us say we sow wheat. After harvesting, some people make a bread of it, some bake a cake, some people make a roll or a bun. You can make anything. So similar to that, every artist being alone with nature shows his knowledge, level, point of view, outlook, style, the picture. To sketch in English means learning to draw. It also implies a meaning of an exercise. In painting art, to learn something, you need to draw from nature. It helps a lot in drawing a sketch or making a sculpture. It especially enhances an artist's mastery. The sketch is a picture done at a time. This is a creative piece of contrast of light and darkness, done in a short period of time. In comparison with the morning, the afternoon time, when objects become more reddish and difference between warm and cold colors becomes obvious. The color of the dawning sun is red. In the afternoon, compared with the morning time, that reflex gives the nature warm red and yellow colors. I did my best to show this moment. The sketch means to preserve the peculiarity of nature, although not everything is depicted in detail. It is according to an artist's understanding and point of view. Here I did not intend to draw the mountain, the fir tree, the wool strands on the ground, and grass in details. 
My aim was to demonstrate the character of rough places and the mountains. A mountain and a stone, the sky and the earth change every minute in the artist's vision. The artist searches for light color in the night sky. He searches for a theme coming from the black earth. The grass and flowers bloom, and lakes rage in the pictures drawn by this artist. For example, clouds of Jetesu and Arca are totally different. In Arca, there are a lot of fleecy clouds. So similar to this, the earth, the aura, the nature have got their own peculiarities. If an artist goes to a place, sets his own aims, and successfully depicts them, we can say that significant, fruitful pictures were born. The strongest drawing skills techniques, the artist style, are compositional solutions, not like those hackneyed and familiar to all structures. Orobeck's compositional solutions are so peculiar. He has got good, unexpectedly formed, unexpectedly appearing and combined compositional peculiar features. Combinations of different colors, his talent to combine and match bright and deep colors influences us a lot. Poetry is invisible in painting. Painting is silent poetry. When the artist has got an inspiration, he recites a poem. This is his hobby. He has got passion for beauty. When he goes to nature, he is overwhelmed by inspiration. A human being created in ancient times. Every soul has got its shelter. The nest feels very warm and close. A baby is obviously born and comes tearing his mother's womb. Filled with the bright yellow sunlight, the black earth seems to ask us, as is the moon, is our place. Why do we soar upwards? I cannot say the world existence is different to us. To create existence in the world, the human being has to carry the life burden. First, the man should not break laws and not to let body rule the soul. Spreading its wings wide, let the eagle fly where it wants. You find and search for your nest on the earth. Like an eagle flying. Friendship is a union of human beings. Kumar and Orobek were united by art, by painting art. They became close to each other, like elder and younger brothers. They draw sketches together. They share secrets and opinions. I can say Orlbeck is my younger, close brother and friend in art. We often go out to nature together and draw landscape pictures. We share ideas about art a lot. We supplement each other's demerits. We learn well from each other. Moreover, Orlbeck is good at speaking, has a poetry talent. When he tells about his picture and explains his ideas, he makes it so vivid and understandable. <laughs>